A first carry now for Nick Chubb. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. The, the check on the numbers Cameron for Chubb three. from a week ago. Two yards 20 carries, 134 and yards, and the score, the too. Now he's playing a Thursday night game short week. You know, he spent a lot of time in the trainer's room in the cold tub Mayfield's trying to get his legs back for this game. Complete to Jarvis Landry. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively four. after giving up the Brings touchdown up on the opening and drive. And and based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching Mayfield staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so Intended offense has to be ready Landry. each and every time to either equal or try and get us Jamie ahead Gillen and try and keep us ahead. This is their Ford chance Brown. to respond to that first touchdown given up. And that hits at the six and carries the into the end zone for a in. touchback. At their own 20 Cincinnati line. coming back onto the field here for their second drive. They'll be and we drop you into the start of this next possession. The score, 7-0. Mayfield now looking to throw on first down. He's got the hook up to Odell Beckham. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 28 yards the gain there on the catch and run. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Kareem Hunt. Number it's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second carrier. and four. Tackle made a at the burst there, and he nicely bit line. off a pretty decent the game. Six. The last run got Brings six, second now and second and four. four. Back to the ground, this time it's Chubb. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. That's good. Four yards, the pickup, first down. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking first up some of the slack. At the 34 yard last line. drive, they went three and out. A first down throw for Mayfield. Quickly into the hands of Beckham. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. Beckham. 13 That's yards good. to pick up there, good for a Cleveland first. Browns. First and 10 at the 20 the yard line. zone now, Mayfield. They'll go screen here to Hunt. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt his first Brown. touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Browns. Right now, we're all even. It's a tie game as we drop you back in and the offense gets set to take over. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And a short gain there as he'll get it up only to about the 24. 27, Kareem Carlos Dunlap, the defensive end, the one the to bring him down. The, the last run good line. for two. Here's second and eight. Brings up second and eight. And he slings one that's incomplete. Mayfield's pass. Speed is the name of the game when it comes to RPOs. And sometimes you can be a little too quick. Thus, inaccurate, incomplete. Yards to go. On third down, Mayfield. And it's complete. Hooper. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Mayfield finding Hooper there for a first Cleveland first. The Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb, and this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Number 24, Nick Chubb. But every carrier. play call you realize is not going to go Gino for a touchdown, Atkins so a lot of your stop. calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish an inside run, run your toughness now, line. hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, That's you could do good. worse than a four-yard run on first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, first but oh, so effective. Nice line. completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Mayfield completes it to Higgins. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. Another catch for him there. This one good for 11. First down. The 41 yard line. Check 55 to Mike. Check 55 to Mike. Mayfield looks to throw. And that one complete once again to Higgins. And he gets this one inside the 15, well, just a yard or two Browns. shy of the 10. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good first for 30 and a first? Yard line. 
Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. Second down and 10. Throwing again, Mayfield on second and 10. And this one incomplete. Mayfield's Too much contact pass. to hold on to that Incomplete. one, and it's third down. This offense was Higgins. on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force Incomplete. that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. I like what they Austin tried to do there. Cyber tried to hit him with something quick, get the ball in his hands. I hope he can make some yards down. after the catch and pick up a first down. Weren't able good. to do so on that play. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. Let them know, let them know. Let them know, let them know. First down, Mayfield. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Jesse Bates on the coverage. Throwing, Mayfield. This pass complete to Higgins. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That's good. That'll Mark wind up Cleveland a gain of 27 runs. on the catch and run. Oh, that was a nice job there. Quarterback First and receiver the reading the pressure that was line. brought. They both knew it was going to open up the middle of the field. Nice little shake and bake in the line of scrimmage. Got right into his route. And the quarterback hit him in stride. And he was able to run free after the catch. Buying time to his left. And he's going to keep it here. And he's able to take Number it across six, midfield Baker, before Baker, going out of bounds. The, keepers. the improv on the scramble there gets him six, and it'll be second down. Line. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four. Mayfield escaping the pressure right. He's going to take off with it. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. That was an excellent job of recognizing first the situation. The his first read wasn't line. there. Heck, his second read wasn't there. But he bought himself a little extra time scrambling out of the pocket, got to the sticks, and picked up the first down. And that'll be incomplete. The pro bowler Odell Beckham, the intended receiver. But it'll be second down. Here's Mayfield. Open man is Higgins. And down to the 20 he'll go before heading out of bounds. 19 good. yards to pick up there. Move Brown. the chains. Good start First throw and catch the right there. So far line. in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Mayfield on first down. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he is into the end zone, touchdown. With a little over two minutes to play in the second quarter, the offense gets ready to take over. Mayfield on play action and finding the tight end Hooper. Mayfield's pass. And this will be a gain of Austin five Hooper. as he gets it to the 30. A gain of five brings up they go second play action. and five. Mayfield. At the 30 he's got Hooper line. on the short connection. And he'll get Mayfield's maybe a couple pass. before he's Complete taken down Austin as that Hooper. will take us to the two-minute warning. Two. Brings and up we've hit the two-minute mark three. in this first half of action. Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's coming up later this weekend. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on first third. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Jarvis Landry with a nice reception and pickup there. And when you say Pro Bowl, you better think Jarvis Landry. He's been selected to it every year since 2015. The only season he's missed is rookie year. 
and he is durable and tough. That's we good. talk about that all the time. How about this for an example? Hasn't missed a game in his first six seasons and was a thousand first yard receiver for the third the time in 2019. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. This is caught. Yeah, the Browns are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. They'll throw again. Here's Mayfield. And this is caught. Touchdown, Cleveland. Touchdown, Higgins. With his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Browns. This offense ready to get back out there as they'll have the football to start the third quarter. They'll start the third quarter on the ground with Hunt. He finds an opening past the 40. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And all the way in. Touchdown, Cleveland. Kareem Hunt with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Browns add six to their lead. So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They start on the ground with Nick Chubb, and he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two, and it brings up second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. And there's a completion to Austin Hooper. What a big-time acquisition for this offense in Cleveland. Came from Atlanta as a two-time Pro Bowler. Had nearly 800 yards in receptions and six touchdowns last year. And he spent a lot of time with his quarterback in order for them to get on the same page on every snap. But well, the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. yard line. They run it again with Chubb. And this defense not giving him anything there. Chubb Maybe a yard the ball to the 36. The tackle made at the 36 yard line. And the stuff that one up a in a big game. way. Brings I think doubling him and has six. a real priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That's a nice job there Intended because you've got to play the ball, Beckham. not the man incomplete. winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot Sets of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out high. They expected it and got there and popped it free. They go with Chubb on second down. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. A gain of 13. It's a first down. And a nice carry and a first down for first Cleveland. A nice pickup there by Nick Chubb. was a bright spot for this Cleveland offense. He finished second in the league in rushing in 2019 with nearly 1,500 yards on the ground and got into the end zone eight times. And how about this for durability? Has not missed a game in his NFL career. What a bounce back from a big-time knee injury while at the University of Georgia. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Play fake. Mayfield. Looking left side, that's caught by Landry. And they get him that's down, good. but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 14 on that one, and a first, first down. At the 41 now we get line. into the psychology of the whole thing, because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode. Really try to put the hammer down and finish this one off. First call of the game of 45 for the second play in a row. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but 
There are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Rashad Higgins, touchdown. 45 yards, and the Browns... So now this offense will take over, and they will have the football at their own 20-yard line. They'll begin the drive with Hunt, and he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. The ball carrier. And I'm guessing Logan you'd say Wilson this is kind of the key tackle. here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to take it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Number 24, these timeouts, big what are they going to do to stop you? You're taking was charge. Down at the, the Browns on third down. A Two for a five to this play. point. This is Brings third and four. Third and four. From the gun, Mayfield. And he's got his man. That's Landry. And he's going to have the Browns first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Mayfield on target to Landry for Browns first down. And that pickup of a first down. That's going to leave a mark because they really needed to stop them there, didn't they? Oh, so frustrating. Defensively, you're a play away from getting that football back here down late. Tough. Now they've got to find a way to create a turnover or take away. The ball Otherwise, carrier. this one will probably get away He's from them. The a nice play. chunk there on the first it's down run, and six. it's second and four. Brings up second and four. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And he's got That's another good. first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Bengals' 45-yard line. A good pick up there for the first Browns, 15 the yards. They have line. the nice cushion. <laughs> they just want to pour it on right now, still throwing the football. And I know my background says, why do you need to do this? Just go ahead and run out the clock and get a win. But as many people have pointed out to me, it's a video game, man. Go ahead and put the numbers up. Sportsmanship, not an issue. Exercise those fingers. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down stomp down how about that back-to-back -back completions they are rolling so much for being conservative and running that football and inside the 20 before he's brought down Four more yards there and another first down more starting to look like this drive that may be the final nail in the coffin well this is why you work out so hard right this is why you spend all that time in the off season this is why you have those otas and mini camps for these situations these scenarios to run someone into the ground and secure Nick a victory. Shove. A 14 yard gain there as they look to yards. improve this 14 point lead. They'll run with Chubb. And it carries like that. That's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away Maybe here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Chubb. Yeah, how about that? A new he set of downs. Down 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 continues to and he takes this one in for a Brown score. Nick, Nick Chubb. Chubb. His second touchdown on the season. Touchdown. And the Browns are going to tack on to their advantage. And while no one on the offensive line will get the six points next to their name, they should be credited with this one. Tremendous blocking to get the runner into the end zone. Both offenses have been clicking in this one. A lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he's got this down to the 35. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him that's and keep good. picking up good yardage. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. Back-to-back back back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. A run for Nick Chubb. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game. They breathe a little easier on the sideline. Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Cleveland. 
Nick Chubb, touchdown. his second touchdown of the night. And the Browns add six to their lead. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Both offenses have been clicking in this with a lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And he picks up about six as he gets this Number down to the 41. Kareem Hunt, the ball carrier. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles Alexander. on its faces. It, and I know it sounds a crazy, pickup. but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew the they'd be in situations line. where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying this to keep them from locking down a game. Browns. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. From the 32 first now, down, here's first and 10. yard line. They run, Chubb, and inside the 20 before he's brought That's down. Good. A good play there as the Browns strike for 16 and a first down. Brandon, every great running backs coach first I've talked to has always talked line. about when you have great vision, you're not consciously thinking about your cuts and your moves. You're just doing them. And I think that's what we're seeing tonight. He's about running them into submission. Hunt, the ball you carrier. took the words right out of my Taking mouth. I was just going to use that phrase. You're going to run them into a submission. Wave the white Brings flag. Second and eight. They run again with Hunt. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five that's at the good. six. Another it's an eight-yard pickup, and it leads to a first and goal. First oh, that's goal. Really warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got another touchdown. touchdown. This thing is ugly. Wow. Looking like they're well on their way to a 2-0 start. All smiles right now on that sideline, isn't it? As well there should be. It's hard to win a game. And Both offenses have been clicking in this with a lot of points on the board. We'll see if that trend continues. They'll try and wind down some clock with Chubb. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot That's it at good. the 49. Cleveland Browns. They may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. Get in the white room. Get in the white room. Mike 55, Mike 55. Hey, eat, eat, eat. Chubb. And he is tackled inside the That's 40, good. not quite to the 35. 15 more yards there, and quickly another first down. Back-to-back back good plays have him on the move on first down. Well, we're beyond the tone setting right now. This guy's been the bell cow all day, and they'll continue to rely on him to move the chains, drain the clock, and lead his team. Back-to-back oh. -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. On first down, they go right back to Hunt. Would you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Four yards. Yards. On the march. That's they keep this up. Throw. They get to the end zone real fast. First down. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Ball carrier. And one of the whistles the for a timeout. Logan Wilson. So they'll stop the clock here game. in a game that's been decided in the closing goal. seconds. At From the, the two, two now, line. second and goal. They'll try to run with Hunt, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. And they just took a timeout with two seconds to go. This one obviously decided. Not sure they needed to take it, but we'll take it with him. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play, so it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little land, yeah, a little extra on top. Browns, 65. Charles, it's one Bengals, thing to win. It's 24. another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feel like they're moving the ball, and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So for the Browns, it's a win here in their home opener as they move to 2-0. And they'll get a few extra days to get ready for next week where they take...